and it's as simple as that. You create this advanced custom field, true or false, and then you add a meta query to the query loop that compare it to one, and then you are ready. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Ubuntu Productions. My name is Aaron Blanco Tejedor, and in this channel, we create web development tutorials with a focus on simplicity. This time, we are going to create a Bricks Builder tutorial, and we are going to learn how to filter or how to feature and how to order post or custom post types in a Bricks Builder query loop. Hey, Valtteri, are you there? Yeah, man. Didn't you understand anything of what we are going to achieve today with this introduction? No idea. So, let's explain it in less than a minute. Let's see what we have. We have the regular WordPress post, and a custom post type that I created with advanced custom fields. If we open them, we see that we have six post number from one to six, and then we have six custom post number from one to six. If we go to the front end, we will see that we have a query loop that is showing each of the post as a card. And then if we go down here, we see that we have filter or we have feature only three of them that are those ones that has an odd number. This is something that if you haven't done before, it's difficult to wrap your head around about how to filter them, about how to feature them. But once you learn how to do it, it's super simple. In the meanwhile, once we are learning about this, we are going to learn another technique about how to order them. Imagine that you have six, eight, eight posts and you have you want to order them in a specific way. We are going to learn also today how to do this. And I guess that was a little bit over a minute, but now let's go to the tutorial. But first, allow me to take one minute of your time. Because if you think that these videos are important, if you think that supporting the BRICS community in the way that I do creating these videos, please show your support, please show your love. Not only with a like and subscribe, that is always super welcome, but also chipping in some money in the link below to the Buy Me A Coffee. And you can chip in 5, 10, 20 euros, 25, whatever amount you think that you can offer. It's super welcome and it will allow me to create even more videos to help Bricks user to get better in the builder we love. Because in the time that this video goes from the script phase in the content pipeline to the supporting materials to the recording where we are now, to the editing that we will come later on, to the graphics that will bring everything together, to uploading and adding a description, to the point that it can be considered done, can go between 6 and 12 hours per video. As you can see, I try to keep a beautiful production and I try to have all the pieces of the puzzle in place so you can understand very simply how to achieve the things I'm trying to teach or the things I want you to learn to become a better developer. So as I said, if you want to support the work that I do, please send some money via buy me a coffee link that you will find below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you decide to support me, I really appreciate with the bottom of my heart. As I said, once you know how to do it, you are going to be like, whoa, that was so simple. So let's lay the foundation about what plugins do we need. In this case, I'm working with advanced custom fields, but you can achieve the same, most probably with Metabox or any other custom fields plugin. And then to make it even simpler and even better, I recommend you to install this small plugin called Advanced Custom Fields Quit Edit Fields. You will learn in a minute why I recommend to add this plugin to your stack. Let's go to Advanced Custom Fields and let's see what we have created. 
If we go here, we see that we have a field group, we open it, and we have two fields. One that is called feature, and then what is called order. The feature is the type true or false, so we are going to tell this post is feature yes or not. And the order is a text. We are going to input a number that is the order we want the post or the custom post type to be in. So I will open bricks over here. I will close some things. And now we are going to be kept only with the post. And then we will do it with the custom post type. So you can see that it's the same thing. But in order to simplify, we keep only the post order. We keep bricks builder open. And then if we go over here, we keep the front end to see what's happening. That's all. Once we are in post, we see that we have two more columns than the regular one. We have one that says feature, yes or not. And then we want, we have another one that says order, 635241. If we go to advanced custom fields and we edit, for example, the feature field that is a true and false. If we go to presentation, we see that here we have extra options that are not by default in advanced custom fields. And this is offering us to show the custom field in a column and to enable the quick edit for the custom field. And also you can make it sortable. And that we achieve with this plugin that I recommend you. This is a small plugin that was quick edit fields. So once inside the advanced custom field field, if you go to presentation and you toggle these ones, you will see that the feature yes and not appears as a column. And if I go to quick edit, I have the option yes or not straight in the quick edit. So I don't need to go to edit the post and find the switcher down here that is normally the place that it will take so with this very small plugin what we are achieving is again simplicity we have one more column column that we have added and we can edit it in quick edit your customers will appreciate this very much if they need to work in the back end so let's go for it as you can see we have six posts and some of them are feature and some of them are not feature. How do we filter them in Bricks? If we go over here and we go to the ones that are already filtered, we go to the card, we will open the query loop options and we will see that basically is looping through the post type post and is using the WordPress default post type called post. So quite redundant, but we are just looping through the post basically. How do we do to show only those that are featured? The magic is here. We go to meta query and we create one meta query. I will open the one that I have. So the meta key is the name of the field in advanced custom fields. What is the name of the field? This one, that's the name. Normally, the one that you see here is the label. You don't need the label. You need the name. And in advanced custom fields, you can hover and copy it. So we copy it. We go back to, back to Brick Builder and we put feature. And that's the meta key that is comparing. And what happens Like if the meta key is 1, which in advanced custom field is true, is 1, and false is 0, you say, if it's 1, show them to me. Simple as that. We are ready. Imagine that I change the one to zero. Let's see what happens. We are showing the opposite posts. We are showing those that has a no. Do you want to do you want me to demonstrate it? So now we are showing the post number two, the number four, and the number five. We have the two that has a no, we have the four that has a no. And we have the five that has a no. If we change it back to one, we will be showing those that has a yes. The number one has a yes, the number three has a yes, and the number six has a yes. One, three, and six. And it's as simple as that. If you want to create a feature like blog post, for example, 
and you don't want to use a category only for the featured ones, you create this advanced custom field, true or false, and then you add a meta query to the query loop that compare it to one, and then you are ready. You are featuring or you are filtering post or any post or any custom post type at your likely. This simple. Do you want me to demonstrate that this works exactly the same with custom post types? Let's do it. We will go to the card up here and we will loop through post, but in this case, custom post type. That is the one that I created. You can see that it changed from post to custom post, but it's basically the same. We have six of them. Then if we go down here and we go to the card and we open the loop options and then we change from post to custom post type. Sometimes in the back end doesn't work, but here should be custom post one, custom post two, and custom post three. In order to demonstrate that those are the three ones that are selected, let's go to the custom post type and see that the ones that has a yes are the one, the two, and the three. They have yes, yes, yes. And those are the one showing, those are the one being featured, those are the one being filtered, however you want to call it. Uh, for whatever reason you need to use it. That's it. You are done. As simple as that. You're welcome. But this tutorial is not complete if I don't show you another trick. Is that how do I order the post? Let's go for it. I'm going to change this one back, the query loop from my custom post type to my post. And we will see that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's the regular, like order. They are ordered in the order that I create in them. So how do I order them in a custom order that I want? So I will choose the order ascending and order by, we are going to change to meta numeric value. There we go. What is the meta key? It's the same as we did before. What is the key that we are using to order them in the order that we want? It's this one called order in this case or any other name that you put in the field. So we will add that one here and we will see what happens. We see that instead of being order one, two, three, now we have first the odd ones and then the not odd ones. <laughs> I don't know that word in, in English. Let me let me show you. What is the opposite to odd number? Even numbers. So we have first the odd numbers and then the even numbers. Just to demonstrate once again that that's the order I have applied with this custom field. We see that we have the first one the number one, the second one, the number three, the third one, the number five, the fourth one, the number two, etc. And that's how they are ordered over here. That's all. You learn also how to order post in the way you like. Of course, you can download a plugin that allows you to drag and drop the post up and down. But I don't like that solution because I don't know what's doing in the back end. I, I, what happens if I uninstall the plugin? Are they going to be still like order in the way I want? Or does the plugin do the ordering with the drop down in a way that when I uninstall it, they are out of order? I don't want that. I want to have maximum control with simplicity. Another way you could order them is to change manually the date for all of them until they get in the order you want, but that can get quite messy quite easily. So again, what it is more simple than adding a text field to the post or to the custom post, put it in a column with this simple plugin that I show you, make it editable in the quick edit and then just put them in the order you want simply. I try always to focus in the simple and most elegant solutions and that's what I deliver today. I hope you find the content of this video super helpful. I hope it will help you to be better developer and save 
tons of time and remember that only by helping each other, only by loving each other, we can create a more beautiful world to live in. I wish you a beautiful day. Bye-bye.